Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be installing the engine block heater. Here's the part number on a Ram 1500 new generation. It is a 2022 Eco Diesel, or sorry, 2021 Eco Diesel. Um, but this is the part number for that truck. Uh, please check with the Mopar parts website with your van to make sure that this is the correct number for you. To start off though, I want to show you something. So everyone online said, don't buy the Mopar part. It's too expensive. I think it's like $100 or something. Um, buy this one and fine. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, it's got a nice little cover here for the plug. It has a nice heat shield, which is pretty cool. The connector is identical to what Mopar sells, but the problem is when you plug this in, well, I'll show you in a second. When you plug it in, it just falls right off or it falls off with very little effort. Um, the Mopar one, the official one, by the, by the way, does this the proper way. And by the way, this is on eBay for, I think, $36 shipped. So about double the price of what the aftermarket one calls that everyone said to buy. Yeah, sure. Same exact plug. But this has a couple of things. This has a clip here to clip onto your um, some of your wiring down below. You have clips, basically, that run all the way up. Um, and they're nice and they're actually really nice clips all the way up to the very end where you have a nice little tight loom here with the exact same cover. The part itself, 675P on the Mopar with a lot of extra um, sturdiness. As usual, OEM stuff, it just has that engineering backing behind it, which will give you a much more reliable uh, and longer lasting part. Double the price, but you get a whole lot more for your money here versus the basic one. So um, this was too cheap to return to Amazon. They just gave me my money back, but... Um, you know, I'll link to it below. You guys can try it, but I'll show you what it looks like on the on the, the truck here in a second. Your connection, by the way, is right there in red. You can see it. Uh, we're gonna pull that little plug out so we can actually get to the plug hole, and I'll show you guys how this looks with the um, with the aftermarket one. All right, aftermarket plug is in. I'm just showing it straight this way for demonstration purposes. Give it a tiny tug, and it's out. See how easy that is? It's gonna fall out with a little bit of vibration. So we're gonna go with the OEM. We're gonna drop that from the top though. So what you're gonna do is you're going to come up here. Your plug is straight down. The wiring harness goes into right here, this little hole. So we're gonna drop this straight down um, and clip it down the way on down the uh, line there. And we're done. So you can see here, it's this little braided connection right there, that black one that's, uh, right there. So that's coming out down there. You can see we got it connected at the very bottom and then up to here. And then we have it braided here as well. So it's basically running straight down. It's braided right there, at the bottom of this. Just electrical wire, electrical wire. It's not touching that uh, refrigerant line at all. That's coolant line, sorry, it's coolant line, not refrigerant, coolant. Um, that will get pretty warm though, so don't let it touch. I might actually make this, move that back a little bit so it's off of that little, it's on top of the heat shield though, so it's, it's probably fine. Uh, and then it's going all the way down and connecting down here. Right there, and you see the clip in there on the far right, so it comes straight up and then it connects right there on the right side. So that little clip right there is, uh, there you go, it's connected in just like that and it goes straight up from there. So yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably move that zip tie that's right here in focus to make that not be on the, the coolant line right there, the metal piping. But other than that, it is, uh, it is secured pretty well up to this point right here. And this is where we will um, attach our what, um, extension cord. So let's give it a shot and heat it on up.